Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas. And do you want to get cinematic slow motion using Final Cut Pro 10? Well, today you're in for a treat because I'm going to show you that right now. Let's get it. Now, before I go into Final Cut right now, I do want to say in order to achieve this effect, you have to film at 60 frames a second because we're actually going to be slowing it down in a 24 frame timeline and going from 60 and slowing that down is going to look smooth and buttery because if you film at 24 frames a second, well, that's just going to look jittery and you're going to have to add some optical flow and it, it, no, 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 we're not doing that. All right, so we're going to have to film at 60 frames a second. That's a must. Now, if you film in 4K, like I did with the GH5, which is the footage I'm gonna show you guys how to cut to achieve this effect, 4K is not necessary, but I mean, it's just an added bonus. It makes it look a little bit more icy. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into Final Cut Pro 10 and let's ignite your editing right now. Like I said, we're gonna take it to Final Cut. I'm gonna show you guys how to do cinematic slow motion. We're gonna launch our program. First things first, we're gonna come up to a new project. And I shot mine in 4K, but hold on, let me name this. Under the format, if you did 1080, that's cool. If you did 4K, that's even cooler. That's what I shot my stuff in. That's correct. The frame rate, we're gonna to wanna to keep at 23.98 or 24. I'm gonna do 24, just because I like even numbers. But don't go above that, because it's gonna look like some trash and you don't want to be basura that's spanish for trash so we want to either do one or the other because like i said you had to shoot your footage at 60 frames a second all right so once we get that everything else looks good hit okay i'm gonna double click here now i got my footage in this hard drive let me load it up i got my scenes these are like walking scenes i don't have no color grade on them but now to get that cinematic look that you probably see all the time. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We're gonna come here to the slow-mo and we're gonna do 50%. Now we're not gonna go put anything over 50% because then it's gonna look terrible. It's gonna start dragging and then you're gonna have to do this optical flow thing where you come right here, hit optical flow. And I hate doing that with uh, slow motion because to me it makes it look, it doesn't look natural. However, if we do this, yeah, look at that. Slow motion, everything looks better in slow motion, let's be honest, but this is how you do it. All right, I'm gonna actually do this to all the scenes. I really got some great shots of Rocky with the GH5 and the 12 to 35 millimeter camera. This is, I think, one of my favorite shots right here. I did like a reveal shot. And I'm gonna show you how cool the slow motion makes it that more cinematic. But now I'm gonna apply a quick color grade for you guys right now as an added bonus. Now me, I'm gonna apply an adjustment layer. I have a tutorial linked here on how to get this. If you don't have it on your final cut, these are game changer because you literally apply the color grade to the adjustment layer as opposed to the clips. Yeah, my son Carter likes the adjustment layer too, as you can hear, he's in the background. And um, I'm not gonna apply too much. Um, I'm not even gonna apply a lot. Just do a basic color grade real quick. So I got my scenes here and I actually knocked down the saturation a huge, huge significant amount to add more cinematic-esque into my scene. And I did that throughout them all. But also, I also want to put point out if you use a letterbox like this, and let's say, for example, you know, you're not getting everything you want in the frame. What you can do is you can highlight the clip you're using, and under here in transform, there's a Y axis, and you can go up to go up, down to go down, and I'm gonna go down because I want more of his body in the frame. And I'll do it like that. Boom hit the playback and I'm in the game baby everything's flawless so I hope this tutorial helped but let's go into the final version so you can see how it's supposed to look
I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you're getting some smooth buttery cinematic slow motion using Final Cut Pro 10. If you did like this video, don't forget to smash that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, as well as unboxings, reviews, vlogs, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And also, I mean, hit that bell because you'll never really miss a video ever. You'll stay notified. And as always, don't forget to ignite. Yeah, ignite, I got my own hat. Ignite, ignite cinemas. See ya.